In this video, I'll be walking you through how I put together this hand-drawn animation video. I'll be walking you through the idea generation, the image generation, the audio generation, the video generation itself and coupling and editing the video to making this beautiful video you're watching. Feel free to navigate through this video using the timestamp in the video description to move over to the parts you want to watch in the video and I trust there is something for everyone in this video so don't click out, move around with the timestamp and let's get right into it. I went into ChatGPT and told ChatGPT to write me 7 image prompt to tell a short beautiful story to nursery school children about the importance of washing their hands and it generated me this script which I would copy right now. I will open a new tab on my browser and type in docs.new to open a new document in my google document and paste in the text and I will go ahead and edit the text to split out the ones that are image prompts and the ones that are the story. I will copy the image prompts now that I've finished separating them from the story and go over to a new tab and open my Canva and select a video template. I will add a second page to paste in my image prompt which I'll, will be easier for me to navigate and copy the prompt out and generate it because the image generation I'll be doing with Canva. So let me copy the first prompt and let's go over to our apps and search for magic media. Yeah, this one. And if you come over to magic media, you can generate images, graphics and videos, but we'll be using graphics. I'll quickly paste in the prompt I have. And if you scroll down a bit, you see you can generate hand drawn, 3D chrome, doodoo, sticker and vintage. And you have 500 credits every month if you're using a pro account but if you're using a free account you get 50 credits let's add our first image we've generated and we'll be using the three dots to generate similar image that looks like the first one we chose from the images that were generated so these are the options that came up let's compare and see if this one is better than the original one we got but looking at it i think i like the first one that came up before we got more of it so i'll go ahead and use that one and i'll be generating all the images i will do that i will circle back now that i'm through generating all the images let's go over to our apps and open magic more so I'll be using that to morph my text. Quickly, let me go and add the text I want to morph. So this is the title of the design. Let's go back to Magic Morph. And I'll be morphing it into a party balloon. Yes. Let's choose this first one. And let's position that to the top and scale it out this morphs my text box into an image so i will go ahead and delete the text box behind it and i will quickly download this page as a png file and once that is done i would import the image back into my design and add it to the second page of my design now that we have the two pages we'll be working with set let's go over to microsoft clip champ to change our text into an audio we'll sign in our account and we'll let's open the text to speech while that is opening we'll quickly go and copy the text we want to convert into audio from our google docs after which we'll go back to microsoft clip champ and we'll be using the text to speech down here and if we click on that it will open the side panel by the right and we'll paste in our text into the text box 
and let's go over and choose a voice we'll be using english south africa you can preview the voice here and if we go over to advanced settings you would see that the emotion you can't set the emotion but the default you can touch on that i will slightly reduce the, the pace of the voice a bit so uh, you can preview your text here in, that has been turned into an audio from here if you like what you are hearing you can now see your text to become an audio and you can see the length of your audio file here so we'll be exporting this as a video file let's go back to canva and quickly i want to bring back the bubble text i marked because i took it out to download this page so i'll be placing it over the other text that is already on the page let's go over to position and align both text boxes to the center and to the middle after which i will click on the three dots and download the selection on a transparent background i would import that back in and delete this one here and put this one with the transparent background now why i did this was to make the text the bubble text more visible because when i placed it before it was looking faint against the white background quickly let's upload the text we converted into a speech from microsoft clip champ let's upload it here i would import that into our page and click on the three dots to extract the audio and we'll take this out yes so i forgot to set my page timing which you will see why i told you i forgot to set my page timing as we move further with the video now let's go back to our apps and search for speed painter which is the app we we'll use to do our hand-drawn video this first one that came up is the one we'll be using let's quickly delete these pages we don't need them anymore and now let's go to the first page and click on the first image which is the text you see our sketch duration you can set it to what you want but i'll set it to one second and i will leave the color field duration as is and leave the sketching hand effect as is yeah we we'll import that and place it over our design you see all the images i have on the page will be left here by the time we start editing this video you would understand why i left the images there let's go ahead and also we'll be turning all the images on the page into a hand-drawn video just by going through the same process i did with the first image and the second image now We'll do that and we'll circle back. Yeah, we are through with generating all our hand-drawn video and each of the video were placed on top of the images they came with. So you see, we also generated a hand-drawn video for the image on our second page. If you go back to duration and click on the duration, it's not allowing me to set the duration, which made me to import back the video and extracted the audio i'll be turning this black page transparency down so it remains on the page and i'll move it down so it does not obstruct whatever i'm doing while editing so now quickly what we are going to be doing is that this layer is what we'll use to do everything we want to do let's open the show timing so the timing is what we'll use to set each of the image and the video and drawn video to come in when they should come in i'm trying to reduce my page screen so that i can see everything i'm doing on the page for every element you want to set the timing the layers on your left is what you just click on the element you're trying to set the timing and easily navigate that so your layers should be your best 
brain you should always go back to the layers to see what element you want to click on now that we are done with that we'll be starting i will start to move the timing of all the elements on this page i'll move it out so that i can begin with the first text i want to come in which is the first hand-drawn video the magic soup adventure i would move out all this timing so clear from the first part of it so just watch it it's going to be interesting but i pray you follow through because this is quite interesting to do but with your timing you should be able to set whatever elements how you want them to come in so the idea here is for the first magic soup adventure to come in which was the text after that finish coming in the image replaces it then the second the first image to my left comes in just like that but with the with the element timing you can set all that <laughs> So I have succeeded in moving all the page timing away from the start. So I would click on the first text box, which is what I want to come in. And I'll go to the yes and let's click on the hand drawn first. And let's drag that to the beginning. And let's go to the S stream and you'll be using the right up to see where to start and where to stop. That is why I opened that document. So if you play that, you will know where the video stops from what you saw in your scripts. So once you are satisfied with where you want the hand drawn video to stop, you now go to the S stream end and drag the timing like so and position it where you want it to be yes just like so now let's this is the second text yeah so once the hand drawn video immediately is finished playing then the image replaces it and the image will run through to the end so this is what i'll be doing with all other hand drawn videos on the page i'm true with it if you see these are the hand drawn videos here all these ones I'm touching are the hand drawn video. The ones on that are the images that comes in after the hand drawn video finishes playing. I hope this really makes sense to you. I would quickly delete the image here and leave the hand drawn video only. So I'm true. Sincerely, I hope this makes sense to you. If you look at the timing, you will see how each of the elements are coming in with the timing on the screen. I really, really hope this makes sense. I don't know how else to explain the video to you, but with the page timing, you should be able to set when each element on your page comes in. And what I did was that the hundred video finishes playing immediately the image replaces it and the image should be able to run till the end because the image is what will stay on the page while other videos are also coming in i really hope this makes sense to you yeah if you've watched till this part what are you waiting for if you've not subscribed guys subscribe lady subscribe to the channel yes it really means a lot and give this video a like let me know what you think in the comment section if it made sense to you or if it doesn't. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and do have a good one.